Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about some interesting things of PHTML. We're going to talk about the div tag. The div tag is something you can say the block level uh, element, which actually uh, we use for adding some content and it's fully editable. It's just like a divider or division you can say in your document, in your HTML document anyway. So the for example the p tag has uh, its own properties like it's a paragraph the h1 or h2 or h6 even they have their own properties like they are the heading tags and you use it for heading if you put the h1 you would get some bigger text like that and paragraph tag uh, the p tag is ultimately for the paragraphing it seems like that there are the table tag has its own properties but the div tag has basically no property, but it's just a division. You can design it fully using the CSS. So we actually use it for layouting and for designing through the CSS. Just like the div tag, there are more tags, but these tags are actually called the semantic tags. Previously, when there was no HTML5, we was using CSS with the div tag only and we uh, decide a name for every development so this is how we recognize them and we use the div tag throughout the document for the layouting but now there are many other tags for specific purposes and i'm gonna show you how and which of them we absolutely gonna make the project when we start back to the go language but now we are just discussing the basic things of the html so this is why I'm telling you the basic semantic tags by now. For example, this is a div tag. And in this tag, you can add the content like this is the div tag. Okay. And by CSS and right off as div tag, I'm going to add the different tag. We're absolutely going to understand how the div tag works in the CSS chapter. But by now, we are discussing some other chapters of the HTML by now the header tag header is specifically used for the header elements okay it's not the head tag okay everybody has a header for example let me show you the example with the google i'm going to the browser back here is a browser and if i just open the i'm duplicating this page first duplicate it and here i'm opening the google.com and there if you see this area, this is actually the header area. Okay, you can have a lot of content right here or just I'm showing you the goodyear.com. For example, this was a website, some kind of tire website anyway. Just showing you, you can see that. This is the header area in a website, not the head area. The head is something, this one, where we put some private information of the website too. But here, this is not the, the you know information area this is a visible area and it is called the header of a website going back to the code here it is so the header area whatever you make in the header area you use the header tag okay the another one is the nav tag and when you are designing the nav bar or navigation bar you use the nav tag okay so you can even use the nav tag inside the head header if you're planning to make the uh, navigation inside the header or if you're planning to make the navigation outside of the header you can just use it outside or, uh, it's uh, depends on you okay there is a tag which is a side tag and this tag we use to making a kind of sidebar stuff and uh, in the same way, if I just go here, the section tag, you know, every web page can have multiple sections. So we divide them in multiple sections. Right after the section, there is a tag. For example, the main tag. When you're putting some main information, you use the main tag. It, no, now, it depends on you where you use and which uh, at which area you use whatever tag they are actually the semantic tags the footer tag ultimately you know to design the footer so these are some tags I just wanted to tell you so you would at least understand them and you would be able to use them when you design the 
the actual page for the Go language. So we are going to do that very soon once we understand the HTMLization completely. So till then, stay tuned.